said, We must feed you. My aunt speaks in my language, the right way, with the notes where they belong. Ganoir will show you the other rooms. There are more? I ask. How can that be? You have a kingdom here. A TV machine, a sitting place, a cooking fire. The smile on Ganoir's face is a surprise. Suddenly, I remember him playing with my brother. Wild boys chasing each other like lion and prey, searching out mischief in every corner of our village. Ganoir leads me to a little room for bathing, he instructs. But watch out, the water comes hot and fast. I point to the magic water pot, like on the flying boat. You don't go outside? He laughs. It will turn to yellow ice. I laugh too. Ganoir stares at me. Always his eyes seem to know more than I will ever know. You laugh like your brother, he says. He's quiet. His grin is gone. Too bad I do not look like him, I say, and I am glad to see Ganwar's smile return. It means we will not talk of why I am here, and Lau is not. Too bad for sure, Ganwar agrees. I have a silly face to tell the truth of it. I have the eyelashes of a girl, as Lau and Ganwar liked to remind me. My ears look like they want to fly me away, and my smile takes up most of my face. My brother was the handsome one. Everywhere, girls watched him with shy, smiling eyes. Another room is waiting. On the floor lie blankets and pillows like gentle dunes. I run my hands over covers softer than a new calf's coat. Just one mattress so far, says Ganwar, and his voice tells me this is not a good thing. Dave says maybe he can find more soon. You and I will sleep in the other room. We'll take turns on the sofa. Sofa? I repeat. It's a long chair you can sleep on, Ganwar explains. You don't need to share, I say. I'll, I'll try not to get in the way. You know you're welcome here, Ganwar says. But I cannot tell if he means his words. It's a strange pain to be with those you belong to and feel like you don't belong. I take, I carefully, I take a step onto the blanket cloud. I stumble and then stand and then jump and jump and fall and jump some more. Ganwar shakes his head. You haven't changed, my cousin, he says. You're still a crazy little boy. I stop my jumping. It's I'm not a little boy, I think. Not anymore. But I keep those words in my heart.